Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in every celebration of the Eucharist, we remember and we relive the story of our salvation in Jesus Christ. And so to prepare ourselves to receive the graces of this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word of the Lord came to me. Go, cry out this message for Jerusalem to hear. I remember the devotion of your youth, how you loved me as a bride, following me in the desert in a land unsown. Sacred to the Lord was Israel, the first fruits of his harvest. Should any presume to partake of them, evil would befall them, says the Lord. When I brought you into the garden land to eat its goodly fruits, you entered and defiled my land. You made my heritage loathsome. The priests ask not, Where is the Lord? Those who dealt with the law knew me not. The shepherds revealed, rebelled against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and went after useless idols. Be amazed of this, O heavens, and shudder with sheer horror says the Lord. Two evils have my people done. They have forsaken me, the source of living waters. They have dug themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that hold no water. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. O Lord, your mercy reaches to heaven, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your justice is like the mountains of God, your judgments like the mighty deep. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. How precious is your mercy, O God! The children of man take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They have their fill of the prime gifts of your house. From your delightful stream, you give them to drink. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Keep up your mercy toward your friends, your just defense of the upright of heart. With you is the fountain of life, O Lord. Please stand. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Why do you speak to the crowd in parables? He said to them in reply, because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has, more will be given and he will grow rich. From anyone who has not, 
even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they look but do not see, and hear but do not listen or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, You shall indeed hear but not understand. You shall indeed look but never see. Gross is the heart of this people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes, because they see, and your ears, because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus, in our Gospel today, was asked by the disciples, Why do you use parables in your teaching? Why do you use stories in how you teach people? Jesus answers the disciples because when I use stories, People can see, people can hear, people can understand. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is teaching us today that life also is a story. We need to look at our lives as stories written by God so that we could see what God has written for us. We could hear what the story of God is telling us and we could understand what the meaning of the story of our life is. Kailangan, sabi ni Jesus, ang ating buhay ay tingnan natin bilang kwento na isinulat ng Diyos. The parables teach us today that life is a story, a story written by God. And life is not just about surviving, it is about Meaning. Kailangang tingnan natin ang ating buhay bilang kwento sapagkat kapag hindi natin ginawa ito, araw-araw ang iisipin lang natin, ah, I need to survive. Kailangan kong mabuhay. Kailangan kong kumain. Kailangan kong maghanap buhay para sa pamilya. Kapag ganun lang araw-araw, naku mapapagod ka. Sasabihin mo araw-araw, nako, umaga na naman, balik na naman sa trabaho. Sasampan na naman ako ng barko. <laughs> balik na naman sa trabaho. Ganun na naman, paulit-ulit. Kapag ganyan lang ang tingin mo sa buhay, mapapagod ka talaga. Kaya kailangan, sabi ni Jesus, tingnan mo ang kwento ng buhay. Dahil ang buhay ay hindi lamang paghinga, pagtatrabaho, ito ay may kahulugan sapagkat ang buhay ay isang kwento ng Diyos. That is why in our first reading today from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, God has written 
a beautiful story for the people of Israel. God said in our first reading, When you were young, I created you. I loved you. I saved you from the desert. I saved you from the slavery of Egypt. But when you enter the Holy Land, you have forgotten me. And then the story of your life became difficult because you have steered away from the story of God. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Eucharist, let us remember that our life is a story. It is not just about surviving. It is about God giving meaning to the stories of our life. And we need to see, we need to hear, we need to understand the meaning of life because life is a story written by God. And we need to allow God to write the story of our life. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa araw na ito, kung gumising ka ngayon na mainit ang ulo mo, kung gumising ka ngayon na aantok-antok pa, kung gumising ka ngayon na parang tinatamad ka sa iyong gagawin, gawin natin ngayon kung ano ang sinasabi ni Jesus. Tingnan mo ang buhay bilang isang istorya, isang kwento na isinulat ng Diyos at patuloy na isinusulat ng Diyos para sa atin. Sapagkat ang buhay ay kwento ng Diyos na may kahulugan at naisabihin sa atin. Amen. Please stand. Christ teaches us through parables. Christ is the sower of God's word. Let us respond to his word by praying to the Father. For every petition, let us say, Father of Jesus, hear us. Father of Jesus, hear us. That the church in the world may be like the rich soil, yielding a hundredfold harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, hear us. That the leaders of our nation may govern in a way which is pleasing to God and to its citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, hear us. That unchecked ambitions and selfishness may never choke the word of God in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, hear us. That the sick may experience the healing power of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, hear us. That those who have died may enjoy light, happiness, and peace in heaven. And may those burdened with grief be strengthened by God's word. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of Jesus, hear us. Heavenly Father, help us to recognize the seed of your word at work in our lives. May we never get distracted by the cares of this world, but be active in your service and so produce an abundant harvest. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Daisy Stan. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of, of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot 
at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>